Hey guys, Julie Salant, thank you so much for being here. Big hug to all you guys, virtual hug, real hug. I am thrilled that you are here. My name is Julie Salant. I am an intuitive healer for your life and business. I am a gifted, meaning born with these tools and that I have that make the world a better place. And you do as well, because this is for master life path number 11s. And I am a shaman, I am a healer, I am an animal communicator, and I basically help people to reconnect to their hearts and their souls to find out what their true mission is here on earth. I eliminate the blocks that are stopping you and the mindset excuses or bad form or bad habits that you have. And together we flip those and change them. So it's all about finding your gifts and then leveraging and using your gifts because that's easy to say, right? Finding your gifts is one thing, using your gifts is another, and then your sole mission is something else entirely on top of that, right? So that's what I'm here to do. And at this channel, it's all about your power, your life, your numerology, your life path number, which is your date of birth. And you take the day, the month, and the year of your birth. You add the numbers for each one of those together. And then you take those three numbers and add those together and come down to the lowest number possible. Now, as you know, if you've never seen me before, you won't know this, but if others of you have, um, the life path numbers are one of, there are three master numbers. So it's 11, 22, and 33. Okay. And the reason that we're masters is because that we have been reincarnated more than other signs. We have bigger missions. Doesn't mean that we're better than, they may be more complex. Okay. And we are the true illuminators. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do tonight slash today is whenever you found me, you found me, the readings are timeless. Uh, right now we're in May, 2021, but whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the message. I'm going to be channel in. I've already got my collective, my ancestors here, my totem animals, and of course, uh, spirit, God, and the archangels. I'm going to actually bring in your ancestors to give you some channeling av availability as well. And then together, we are going to go over what's going on. Right now, we have a beautiful pink moon. It's a big super moon. We are also Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. So there's a lunar eclipse and a super moon. There's a lot going on out there. And for me, I would encourage you guys, if you don't do this already, to meditate under the moon. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. You know, I talk to the moon, and the moon would love it if all of you would talk to the moon because the moon is super happy, loves humans. And I know it can sound a little, you know, maybe hokey and funny at first, but trust me when I tell you that it's, it's a real thing. And talking to the planets is also a real thing. You have to understand that we're only one realm, right? There's many realms. So when you're manifesting something, you're calling it in from the ethers. It can be from the ninth dimension and then bring it into our 3d here on earth. Right. But as I always say, you are a limitless capable individual. You are a spark of God, a spark from the divine, something bigger than us, no matter what you believe, right? And you are here living as a human in this flesh and blood, and it's in the 3D, right? But that doesn't mean that you can't access your gifts. So let's go over a little bit about very quickly, because I know some of you have heard this before, so I don't want to spend a lot of time. Before I do that, just quick housekeeping. I'm offering, um, I offer donations. If you'd like to donate to the channel, that would be great. You can, there's a link below. There's also a link below in the description box for one-on-ones. If you'd like a reading with me or for your animal, it doesn't have to be a horse. It can be a dog or a cat or a bird. Uh, I can do this anywhere in the world. I'm in the United States, but I have clients all over the globe, which is awesome. I love it. And also you can work with me for one time, or you can work with me for a month or three months or six months. The longer you work with me, the bigger the transformation. And I'm really saying that because time is fluid in when you're working with energy. And a lot of times I don't mean to spend as much time as I do, but it can be really, you know, it's kind of hard when you're in flow, you can't just turn it off and go, okay, stop. It doesn't really work like that, especially when you're working with God and spirit, your archangels, your ancestors, your uh, animal guides, you know, it takes, you know, they're giving messages to me to give to you. And time is flexible and fluid, right? And we're always on divine timing. I always say that. So hopefully you are going to hear something that's going to help you today. 
And my specialty and superpower is being able to see where you're blocked, any negative energy around you or within you, we all have stuck energy and get rid of it, right? And just illuminate so information and beautiful light from spirit because that's what we all want more of. So let's do this. Let me just re read really quickly a little bit about like path 11. <clears throat> let's do that first, okay? So master life path 11s, you guys rock. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I get really excited when I do your videos because I'm a number 11. And I just know that anything that I go through and I share with you is going to help you. And I also know that you need this information because when I talk to you and thank you for all of you who have been, you know, booking your sessions. I love that. I'm so overwhelmed because I love each and every one of you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an empath, right? We feel things so much stronger than other humans do. And as I've shared with you before, it took me a long time to get here. <clears throat> you know, I had a, a lot of um, blocks to doing this. But then I realized, as Spirit said to me, it's not about you, it's about me. I'm just a channeler. And if any of you are sitting on the fence, I just want to get close to you and talk to you. Listen, if any of you are sitting on the fence right now and you are thinking about starting your own business or you've started your own business, but you want to go in a different direction or you know, you've been being prompted for a long time to share your gifts with the world, but you don't know how, you don't have the money or the wherewithal, you don't have the connections. You always may think it's too late, but especially if you're 50 and above, you think it's too late. Um, you've already made some damaging, had some damaging relationships, maybe within your family, maybe with the spouse, maybe with kids. And a lot of you don't even like yourself, let alone love yourself. And I just want you to know that this whole pandemic has been happening for humanity, right? I mean, it's happening so that we can all join hands and help each other. As I always say, it's the win, win, win. So I shine my light for you and then you shine your light for someone else. And then you and I help the collective because that's what we're here for, guys. If you're, if you're an empath and if you're a master life path number 11, 22, 33, pretty much probably I would say probably you are here for, you have a higher calling, right? And you're here to use your gifts and help others, help yourself and help others. You're a spiritual being. You have a lot of power behind you, whether you realize it or not. And you have free will. So you can say, you know what? Nope, I'm afraid, or I don't want to do this. I want to put this off because I did that for a long time. But right now, time is short. The world is changing really quickly. We've had this pandemic globally. We've all been going through it and it's not easy. This is the time. I just want to say this. This is the time to run towards your faith, not away from it. Okay. Did you catch that? Run towards your faith, not away from it. Okay. Why? Because you have a whole realm of people and beings who want to help you right? You have God, you have spirit, you have the divine, you have the universe, you have your highest self, you have your ancestors, you have the archangels, you have Lord Shiva, what, whatever you believe in, you could have Buddha, whatever you have is there to help you, right? You're all, don't forget your animal totems. They have strong healing abilities with wisdom attached to it. But what happens is you must ask them for help. You must if you don't, they won't, they can't help you. They literally can't. It's, it's, there's rules, right? In, in all the realms, there's spiritual laws and there's rules. So I just want you to know that it's really important that you ask them in. Okay. So I don't want to preach on this, but I just, there's so many of you out there I'm channeling in right now. There's so many of you out there that are so, so, so talented. You are so freaking talented. Like, it's crazy. And you're sitting there saying, I can't, I, I can't, I'm not ready. I don't have this ability that you have. I'm not different. I'm not more special than you are. I'm not, but you guys, I need help. I can't do this by myself. You are here. Your soul signed off on this as this is who you'd be dealing with. These are the lessons that you'd be having, right? So please take advantage. Okay. 
All right, so let's do this. I'm going to share a little bit first about 11 real quick, and then we'll dive in. All right, so you guys are the spiritual messengers, obviously. Uh, you are an illuminator. That's what we are. We are master illuminators. We channel to the subconscious. We channel to the divine. We are channelers. We jump between realms. We are shapeshifters. Uh, these are all things I can do. We are, um, when we channel information, we get it from God, from the universe, from your archangels, from your ancestors. You guys have a lot of these abilities as well. And if you haven't, if you say you don't have them, you just aren't tapped in yet, or you haven't had the opportunity, right? Or you might not be ready for it. There may be other lessons that you might have to learn first, okay? But we are the most intuitive of all the numbers. Holy hell. No wonder we don't like to go to parties so much. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, I love parties, but like, it, it's so hard when you go in, you can feel everybody's crap. Like it's, <clears throat> it's a whole nother level of like, it's crazy. <clears throat> you see what's happening in my throat right here, guys. This is, I was fine before this. This is what's happening. Okay. So let me just explain this to you because it's in real time right now. <clears throat> what's happening is I'm trying to give you some information that's going to help you and potentially change your life. Just maybe it you'll take, you'll remember some of this and you'll take it to heart and it will change the way you move in the future. Right. Hold on. I want to take a drink of something. <clears throat> I was fine before I started talking on camera. And then what happens is as I'm about to give a message, my energy will start from like my bottom of my body and like my feet come all the way up through me and I get really, really hot. That's how I know my energy is ready to go. My channeling and my intuition and all my gifts. But what's happening is with me being stuck like this is, is that the darker forces don't want me to do this. They hate it. It drives them nuts. Why? Because what I'm doing is from the divine and spirit and God, Lord Shiva, Hindi, Buddhist, whatever you believe, there's something greater and bigger than us. I call him God, whatever works for you. But what I'm saying is that the darker forces don't want to see you shine either because you're transforming and you're ascending up to another level right? You're here and you want to be here and it's happening. It happens. But as you do that, you start to open your heart and you start to connect more with the people around you and the world around you. And things look different to you because you're changing, you're growing up and you're reacting differently too. You're the old stuff that maybe was worked for you before all of a sudden doesn't work anymore. You know, it could be the job that you've had for a very long time that you've always loved. And all of a sudden, since this pandemic started, it's not working for you, right? Or the, the people that are married and all of a sudden you've had a spouse for 20 plus years and all of a sudden you're like, it's not working. What the hell is going on here? This is serious. And it is serious. It's deadly serious because it's about your life. What's happening is you're changing and you are getting ready to be moved up to your next level. Your next level will always, they'll always ask of you, something you don't want to give. Like I say, money, your time, being on camera, maybe reaching out to somebody, like making a phone call, sending an email that you're intimidated by. You know, it might be like, you know, this person's really successful. I don't know if I have a lot to offer, but I really would love to try because I have some gifts that may complement what they're doing very well. But maybe, just maybe you're too nervous to even make that phone call and it sits in your mind, just stays there collecting dust, right? because you do have free will. It's your decision. But I just want you to know if you are getting pushback right now, if you're getting like my throat was getting, which is like all of a sudden the message can't come out, which is bullshit. Bye. It's not happening. Bye. Get the hell out of here. Bye. Okay. That's what you need to do. You need to take authority over whatever darker forces. And I'm not trying to scare you, but you should know if you don't know already, you know, there's the light, right? And there's the dark, okay? Right? So there's God and there's the devil, okay? So there's angels and archangels and there's demons. It's a, it's a true thing. There's always a spiritual warfare going on, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, it's really happening, okay? But what happens is you're going along, doing your thing. All of a sudden you start to learn more. You start to act on it. You start to get more confident and happier. And things are like happening and you're like, yes. And then you get attacked and all that goes downhill really quickly. So here's the thing. 
you need to know because this derailed me for freaking years. I'm talking decades. If you get this one thing, please get this one thing. This is so important. You have control over this whole situation. You have authority over anything that's attacking you at any time. You need to take authority and kick it to the curb. So when I'm getting attacked like that, and it can be even simple things, like let's just say you're in the kitchen and you drop your fork uh, and you're like, crap. Or, you know, you just drop something, knock your glass over, right? And the, and the juice spills all over the place. A lot of times that's not just happenstance. Okay, sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's not. And it'll keep happening. It'll happen like two times and the third time, like, okay, I claim authority in you over Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of here, out of my house, out of my life. Go back to where you came from. Literally, that's what I say. And they go, and then it doesn't happen anymore. So whether you believe in God or not, you can still take authority, right? You have authority over yourself and over your home. I take authority right now. Get out of here. Go back to where you came from now. I claim authority over you. That's what you say. And it works. And then you that stuff will stop. But what's happening is I just said, I claim authority over you. You have no power over me, right? Go back to where you came from. I am of the light which means also I am highly protected and so are you. Okay. But all of a sudden, this is my normal voice, but all of a sudden before when I can't get things out and it sounds like there's frog and I don't know why they say that anyways, just funny things I think about like, why do they say that's a frog? Right. I don't know. Um, but yeah, take authority over and kick it to the curb because what's happening is they don't want you to shine your light. They don't want you to give your message because why? One, you'll be stronger. And two, you'll understand you have authority over them. And three, you're going to help more people. And it's going to be a good thing for the earth, right? Okay, so just that's my little tip for you tonight. Um, it's a big deal. It's a really big freaking deal. So take authority over that crap, right? Seriously. Okay, so you guys are the illuminators. You are the most intuitive of all the numbers. We're optimistic, creative. Um, you know, we're profound thinkers. Seriously, we are. Our sole purpose is to bring love, balance, and harmony through the work that we create. And, you know, a lot of times we are natural empaths. We are in a higher vibrational state. We have greater potential. Um, you know, we uh, are very much tuned into what people really want to express, but maybe can't. We're always looking under the covers for things. Like, I want to see the truth. <laughs> we're curious you know, um, but we do love art. You know, we like to write. Um, we're very good at expressing ourselves and finding ways to help other people express themselves if they feel that they can't. So also, I just want to clarify this. Okay. We are like the double digits, one of a kind. Think about that for a minute. Okay, the one and the one, like two, two in between two pillars, two doorways. As a life path 11, you are a bridge builder. You are here to connect heaven and earth while experiencing pleasure in the process. Okay, so 11 looks like a gateway, a forest of equals, and a spiritual peace sign because it's about leading leaders and teaching teachers. Collaboration rather than competition. That's what I meant when I say the win, win, win. Win for you, win for me, win for others, win for Mother Earth. There is the old way of, I'm going to take your money, stomp on your face and keep moving. And then you lose and I win. It's gone. Like, that's not the way it's supposed to be. I was never that person anyways. But you are a bridge builder. And I always say, like, I am the spark. That's what I am. That's what I always, always have been, right? You are the bridge. And you're here to connect heaven and earth while experiencing pleasure in the process. There is a secondary, so you have returned to earth to heal your second and sacral chakra in yourself and others, which are your feelings, um, sexuality, finances, and sensitivity, okay? This is very interesting, I did not know this. In some cases, you may be healing the 11th chakra, which has no name, which is about accessing the Akashic records and ethically expressing telepathic, prophetic, and multidimensional healing powers. What? My mind just ex exploded. 
because I love this, because this is what I do. And this is what you should probably be doing, right? If you're not already doing it, we are here to heal the 11th chakra. This is about accessing the Akashic records and ethically expressing telepathic, prophetic, and multidimensional healing powers. When I go to the other realms, which I will do tonight and the next night, because we have this full moon coming out, this pink full moon and the lunar eclipse, what I'm doing is going to other realms. I'm getting information for you. I'm bringing it back here, but I also have light from those other realms that I bring back and I ground in the earth to hold the earth down, to help the earth regenerate herself, right? That's a big part of what I do. That's a big part of what you should do as well. It's all about we experiencing things telepathically, you know, between ourselves, other humans, animals, you know, we are prophetic. So we're inspiring, we're electrifying, we're productive, we're psychic. And, you know, it's all about, we are opening the doorways to new levels of consciousness. That's what we are. And, you know, the cons, there are cons. We can be nervous. We can be erratic. We can be insecure. Um, we have our own ups and downs. Life is not perfect for everybody. There is, as I always say, this is funny, but we walk the edge between self-destruction and greatness. Balance, harmony. So that's a little bit about us. And man, we're cool. But let's get to your message. So uh, I do use the cards just to guide me. And one thing that I wanted to tell you guys was um, when I'm talking about the moon and the opportunities, I'm also talking about fear. So what happens is just what happened to me with the throat, you know, darker forces will come in. They will make you nervous. They will tell you that you're in the wrong place. All those things that you think and hear uh, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I don't have the right connections. I'm too old. This can't be done. Whatever it is, or all of those. Those are the things that start you down the path, the rabbit hole of, I can't, this won't work for a lot of reasons. And it's complicated. You wouldn't understand and all that crap. What you need to know is that you agreed to be here. And I would bet dollars to donuts that you have the capacity to do what's asked of you, right? And if you don't, then let me help you. That's what I'm here to do because that's what I'm good at. Like my superpower is seeing you in your glory. I'm giving you visions that you can't get for yourself, but you need to understand how magnificent you truly are. And you also need to understand that you are a multidimensional being. You can shape shift, you have telepathy, you have prophetic words, you can speak into other people's lives, you can receive images and words from animals and other people. There's a lot you can do that a lot of other numbers cannot do because you're so empathic and you're so in tune with everything around you. And because of that, if you get nervous, or a part of your body gets attacked, like say your throat where you can't speak your truth, which is what so many of you have. I can't tell you, I think probably every single client I've ever worked with has come to me saying, I can't speak my truth because they've been pushed down for so long that they can't find a way out and put themselves always on the back burner. Let everybody else shine. When deep inside, you want to shine just as bad as you should. You're special. So give yourself the opportunity to stand front and center, sit in your power, own your power, and just say, this is who I am. And I'm a child of the most high. I'm highly protected. I'm very much loved. And I'm never alone because that's the truth. And if you can't see it for yourself, go get help. You know, talk to me or talk to someone else, talk to another healer that you, you, you know, vibe with. But what I saw was, I was just like, let's just take in a deep breath. And I want you to focus on your heart. When you take in this deep breath, I really want you to think about uh, the messages that you will receive that will fit you. Don't try to make something fit. If it fits, great. If it doesn't fit, it's okay. Just leave it uh, till the next reading. Okay. So as we take a deep breath in, I want you to focus on your heart, opening your heart, expanding your heart and making as big as you possibly can, bigger than your body, bigger than the room you're in, 
bigger than the house you're in, all the way up to the stratosphere. The bigger you can make it, the better. And I just want you to focus on having an open heart to receive whatever information is meant for me. So take a deep breath in, focus on opening your heart. As we open our hearts, focus on the connection and let it out. One more time, focusing on your heart, take a deep breath in and then let it out again. Okay, wonderful, gorgeous. Okay, so they are telling me They're telling me that you need to know that you are understood and loved. This is for every single one of you. I don't care. You may not be having any issues in your life right now. And if you are not having issues, hallelujah, awesome. That's so good. For the rest of you that are having issues in one area or all areas of your life, the guides want you to know and God wants you to know that you are loved. You are here for a reason. You have a mission to complete. And if you do not complete this mission, no one else can do it for you. Time is running short on this planet. There's a lot of things that are going to happen. They're going to shock people that are not good. This world's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. I hate to say that, but it's true. Each and every one of you has a strength or two or three, because a lot of you are multidimensional and multifaceted and you don't have to choose. You just need to figure out a way for you to do both or all three things. Yeah, there's so many of you out there that can't even take a deep breath. You're holding your breath actually. And I do that all the time. I have to remind myself, take a deep breath. You are of the divine. Spirit wants you to know that. You have to remember who you are. To access your gifts, you have to remember who you are. Your divine being of the most high God. You are loved unconditionally. It does not matter what you've done or where you are. It does not matter how great or how small you think of yourself because you're not chosen for the things that you have, you're chosen for your heart. Spirit only looks at the condition of your heart. It doesn't matter what you look at on the outside. It doesn't matter how many cars you have, what, how many bags you have, how, many, how much jewelry you have, whatever. Your heart is the most important thing because your heart and your soul are what matters. I don't know if you know this, but in recent years, the Heart Math Institute, who, if you guys ever want to look up information on the heart and intuition, and they are amazing. You can join, it's very inexpensive. And they go about tests with the heart. And what they found is that everybody thought that the brain registered things first and then the heart followed. It's not that way at all. The heart feels things before the brain does, for real. The heart discerns things way before the brain has even gotten a hold of it. Your heart has a larger radius than your brain does outside your body. I know, it's crazy. And I'm all about the heart. One of my colleagues and friends said that I'm like a um, heart surgeon, energetic heart surgeon. That's what I should call myself. Um, because that's what I do is I connect you back to your heart. Somehow you've got disconnected. Somehow you've lost your faith in yourself, in mankind, in our governments, in the people in power. You've lost faith, blind faith, they're saying. But they're saying also now that that's what's required of you is blind faith. Spirit's asking you to step out into your gifts to help others and the collective and the world. You do not see the way through that. You do not see, 
what's on the other side of that door. But I'm telling you, if you walk through the door, you're going to be met with prosperity. And prosperity is not only about money, right? It's about love, happiness, joy, free from anger, frustration, envy, jealous, free from that crap. You are here to make a difference. And nobody else can do what you do. They're telling me to tell you that the time for relaxing is over. This is the time where you really need to ramp up and start standing on your own two feet. They're saying you need to do it now, like now. Like I'm supposed to give you a kick in the ass right now. They're like, no, no more, Mr. Nice Guy is what they're saying. They're saying that they begged with you and pleaded with you. There are a lot out of you, a, a lot there. I can't talk. There are a lot of you out there that have tremendous gifts. And you know, because Spirit's been asking you for a very long time to start showing your work or speaking up or finding your voice. And you're not doing it because you're afraid, you don't have time, all that stuff. You don't have to know everything. Spirit says it'll take care of the how. Just move forward. Once you start, you start getting momentum and then aligned action will follow that. And then just keep rolling with it. But you have to step forward first and then the step will appear in front of you. That's how it works. But it's your choice. If you wanna stay rooted in fear and jealousy, envy, hate, aggression, you can, you absolutely can. But do know that your gifts will not go anywhere. What's meant for you is always gonna be for you. But chances are, if you don't learn these lessons now, you're going to come back into the next life and have to learn them all over again. You don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I mean, I wanna learn all I can while I'm here. I wanna be really successful while I'm here. Let's take a look at what the um, cards say because you had a bunch of animal cards come out. And the first one you had was the flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. It's a beautiful flamingo. The in-between, when I think of the in-between, I think of the realms, right? So we're not just here on earth. You know, we've got all these other dimensions. I have been to other realms. I have talked with other beings. I talked to the moon. I talked to animals. For some, it, may, it might sound weird and crazy, but for me, that's just, that's how I am. And it's it, what I do. And I'm really lucky. I am super, super lucky because it allows me to be in a place and flow and give these messages to you. I don't know why they're showing me knitting. This is so weird. Oh, knitting. Somebody out there, I don't know who it, but they're, they're asking me to say it. So I'm just going to say it. If you knit, they're saying, keep going. If you've been wanting to knit, try it. I used to knit with my mother. Super easy. You know, technology. I haven't thought about that in ages, but they're saying something about knitting. So that's up there for somebody. I have to say it. There's another person. This could be very specific too. You are studying or you were studying for something that is not really resonating with you and you'd like to pull the plug, leave college and just go do your own thing. Uh, your parents will be very upset by this and you have lived your whole life people pleasing. I know what that's like because I did it too. And I would say, don't do that. Go do what you want to do. You can always come back to school. You know, it might not be as easy as it is right now for you, but you've got to find your path. Now, if you're super close and you're going to graduate in like a few months, don't do that. You know, stick it out. But if you're kind of in between, like, you know, freshman, sophomore year, maybe in between, you really want to get this right if you can because I didn't get it right. And it's very, you waste a lot of time spinning your wheels, basically trying to get somewhere 
because you don't you didn't know where you were going and so you went towards the destination and it wasn't right for you as a profession i mean maybe you're a really talented um healer maybe you can read cards maybe you read tarot i mean maybe you're a spiritual warrior and you help others become that warrior right super cool this is the time to do it don't wait anymore snake spirit came through time to heal we all know that snakes shed their skin it's part of their growth if they don't shed their skin they die i believe time to heal again a lot of you guys are carrying around balls and chains that are not yours you gotta drop that shit guys drop it drop it stop doing that to yourself I can't tell you how few healers talk about this stuff. But I talk about it because it was me for so long, right? You cannot carry around your parents' issues. You cannot carry around your spouse's issues. You cannot carry around your siblings' issues. You can try. You can, you can carry it for a while, but it's really not meant for you to carry. And it's really going to hurt you in the long run because you were created to carry other people's junk. They have to learn their own stuff, right? Chameleon spirit, act as if. I love that. Act as if you are successful. I just wrote in my Instagram post, I wrote be irreplaceable. And then I wrote how, but how? And it's all about you stepping into your power. Being, if, being who you are. Act as if you're already there. You're already that person. You're already successful. You're already doing it. Scarab Beetle came through magic. Wow. Magic works through you. I'm telling you guys this is strange because I always shuffle these cards. I shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. And then they come out. And these this guy's come out quite a bit. But as I said before, in the Egyptian realm, which I'm definitely part of and definitely had a past life there. Uh, the scarabeals were very um, good luck. They were even buried with them. They had jewelry of them. They were a big deal. They are magical. Magic works through you. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. You can't move forward until you have a path. Without a path, you're going to be lost. You're going to be zigzagging a lot and you're going to be wasting a lot of time. So work on a path that you can work your way forward. That's clear. Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. That's awesome. Like I was, I was saying, you guys are very gifted. There's a lot of you out there that have gifts beyond anything that I could ever imagine. And you're not using your gifts. Why? Why? Tell me why. I want to know. Please put it in the comments. I really want to know, other than what I've already said. Your ancestors are coming through. I've got a lot of energy. Woo. Your ancestors are coming through. This is general, but they're telling me not telling me to tell you not to give up. This is going to be specific for someone, but somebody out there has a great idea and has a sibling that doesn't want to hear it. The sibling is more successful than you are. You're trying to create your own path. And they're like not interested because they're jealous on the inside. They would never tell you that and you have a very good relationship with them, but they're jealous. Even though they're making more money than you, they know that you are more, more talented than they are, if that makes sense. So now with this idea that you have, this idea will work for you. This idea will catapult you exactly where you wanna be. And they know it and they're jealous and they don't want you to get farther ahead than they are simple but true take that with a grain of salt and keep it moving is what i'm being told keep it moving don't pay any attention to that in fact they're saying 
listen to your own voice. Don't listen to other people's voices because everyone's going to try to either have an opinion or slow you down. No lie. Bring your ideas to life anyways. That's what you were created to do. For the moon, you got a waxing gibbous moon, wishes and dreams preparing to bloom, right? Make your wishes and dreams real. How many times are you going to keep saying, oh man, that's just a wish, or boy, I wish that would happen, or boy, I've been wishing that would happen for ages. Why not just make it real? Push through that negative crap. Push, blow by that like it's not even there. Keep going. Like have your mind fixed on what you want. Like it's a road in front of you and you're going to go for it. And nothing on the side matters. But just straight. And you'll get help along the way. You will. For the fixed stars, you got Orion, my favorite. I love Orion. That's one of my favorites. Obviously, knowledge, research, enlightenment. We love to research as 11s, but don't, don't get too caught up in it because you can research your ass off for like years because we love it so much. And then we're like, oh boy, a long time's gone by. <laughs> I need to do something with that. You also got the uh, third care moon. Self-care is needed. Some of you guys are not taking care of yourselves. I can't say this enough. You're not sleeping. You're not eating. You're working too much. You don't have any fun in your life. You're driving yourself too hard. You're driving yourself to exhaustion. They're saying, stop doing that. When your cup is empty, you can't help anybody. Waxing crescent. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this one. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is a waxing crescent. I've never seen this one. There's a adorable black cat, a kitten, and then the moon above it. And it says, now is the time to manifest. Look at this kitten. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have a black cat who's been my guardian for a very long time, very long time. And this reminds me of him, just the way he looks. But he's a guardian. It doesn't matter how small he is. Your guardians can come in the smallest forms and they will still guard you. Trust me, they will. Don't write them off. They don't have to be big. Now is the time to manifest. And you also got Andromeda, fixed stars. Andromeda says, chained woman, telepathic communication brings peace, harmony, and love. And she's got her eyes closed. She looks like she's kind of going up into the realms. And then she's got like a light bulb kind of above her head, but it's kind of like, a comet, it looks like. Telepathic communication brings peace, harmony, and love. Anytime you talk to other beings, it's exciting and fun, but it's also, it helps people. It helps you. It helps them as well. All right, guys. So I talked more than I should have, but I love you guys. I'm thrilled that you are here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please comment on the video. I read all your comments and I respond to them. I'm so Happy that you guys are digging the content. I hope you guys have an awesome, super pink moon lunar eclipse. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.